Hey, what's up, traders? Data Fix Hunter here. Weekly Forex forecast for the 15 uh, November 2020. So we have a quite good week behind us. Uh, we had amazing trades on the USD CAD. We are in the Aussie Kiwi, and uh, actually, I'm shorting many pairs on the uh, Kiwi. You will see why. So uh, the previous week uh, before we had a break because of the US election, I was expecting some, you know, big volatility. However, uh, these uh, elections are quite circus, you know, because, uh, yeah, okay, uh, now it's official that the Biden has won as well the elections in the Georgia, which is kind of uh, very important. But, you know, the stubborn Trump still doesn't want to agree uh, with the loss in the election. So we will see what this is going to bring. Uh, well, you know, there could be any big volatility anytime. We will see. Uh, what I'm actually seeing already on the COT is that the dollar will might make a correction after the whole year drop down. It start to look uh, better for the dollar. So I think there will be the correction, but here is the thing: uh, the bank still does not have the positions for the bringing dollar up. We are seeing the profit taking on the euro, on the uh, Aussie, or the Kiwi. JPY is actually strengthening. Uh, the CAD, uh, nothing much happening, but USD start a little bit uh, lift off uh, again. The, uh, cat and what's the what's the next the last one is a frank actually the frank a uh, huge profit taking is going on the frank and uh, i think it will go up but uh, maybe it's still not ready yet so yeah i will do the same analysis as usually but it's always i'm doing it always a bit different so you see uh, you can see the pro my process of the work. What I'm basically using, uh, as usually, first I go to the COT, second uh, I check uh, my actual vi vi visualization on my uh, website, uh, which you can use as well, where is all the levels on the monthly, weekly, daily, four hours, and it's very easy. Actually, this week I used it... Uh, I'm using it already for two weeks and as I'm getting it used to it, uh, today I actually came to my office, I went through through the COT, uh, I write up uh, what's good pairs, uh, which are strong, which are weak, and then I went simply through all these chairs, uh, pairs, <laughs> the chairs, and uh, I simply pick up the nice trades and uh, yeah, I am just draw it uh, as well in my trading view because I like to have it uh, in there for a couple of reasons, uh, uh, especially for the alarms, right? So I set the level and I set the alarms as well for some calculations. And uh, yeah, but we are working on this uh, my visualization on my website it's getting better and better and um, you can check it out definitely these levels which is which is it giving and uh, the work with it it's uh, amazing so i have prepared a couple pairs and uh, i will show you what i got all right let's go Okay, my friends, so we are looking to the charts right now, but we will move uh, to the COT uh, at first again as usual. But what I want to show you is that what I actually realized that we are in the big uh, profit taking phases, right? This is a euro rook. Uh, this is actually all right on the small time frame. There is a, some trends, but this is a you know ranging. We are taking out the profits of the euro. That's what we can see here. Look at the USD cat, right on the daily. This is a not big trend. This is a profit taking, the ranging, right? Uh, next one would be the Aussie, as well. Same scheme, you know. We are seeing this is a range, and the profits are taken, being taken out. We will see the position closing of the longs. This is the franc, right? Very similar, right? 
So as we know, the market's having some phases like, uh, you know, expansion, accumulation or distribution as well, expansion, you know, then some correction or whatever uh, phases the markets could have. We are now in this, in this space we are right now. So what probably could be coming could be some break, right? Up or down. That's what it's our work to uh decode right now and that's why we're gonna be using the cot and uh, we will try to understand the markets right now right so we are looking to the us dollar here and what we are seeing in here is that for quite some time as we know that we are in this uh, uh range what happened we can see that the long slightly growth and the shorts has been closed from 29k to the 16 so the dollar is getting actually bullish right so we are seeing the bottom line is that the dollar is getting bullish uh, let's uh, move to the next one which is actually the usd franc which is the franc so what's happening on the franc look every time when it reached uh, 21k they took out the profit if you watched my video which i released uh, last wednesday we can see this pattern right what's actually happening here look let's go to this uh, frank so every time when they reach uh, some bottoms they closing the positions right it was uh, these free lows i think and uh, they always take start to take out the profits so What's probably happening? Probably the bank started to build the long positions on the USD franc, but we don't see it yet. We seeing just the profit taking. So we will see what's gonna be the next. But watching the more, more pairs, it will start to give us the clue what's happening. This is the USD JPY, look. Every time when it reached 62 or the close number start taking out the profit so it's quite interesting range right look 31k right so basically this has a room as well another 8k contracts to move higher right always here always 34 20 30 start to move like this so jpy is strengthening next one is euro euro is set in the big profit taking phase right uh, slightly we start to see the growth in the shorts but question is uh, how that's gonna be played we will see it on the charts looks good pound very weak right we can see the big drop for the many weeks from the 54k to the 27 we are seeing the drop in the shorts as well bottom line is it's very bearish so uh, pound is bearish right Aussie profit taking started already look how it's dropping while they built these shorts so probably we could see some uh, reversal we have reached this 58k here and the price starting to drop we are seeing nice changes in here right so it looks good this is the cat you look at it on on this side so this is usd cat we are seeing the that there was a maximum 53k longs 50k longs 50k longs now it has a room to grow again while we are seeing the shorts slightly dropping so we will see if the banks will be uh, what they will be doing once once we reach 50k in here but look what happened actually they've been 50k they've been dropping the price building the shorts they had the 50k then drop the price again they build the 50k they drop the price and uh, they always after this drop started to build the longs right so uh, uh, we will see on the charts actually i can show it right now so how it was uh, played in here so always they bring uh, the bigger numbers right they started to drop uh, it was actually these levels they started to they started to drop it down again right so we will see what's gonna be uh, right now if they comes uh, into 50k again will they do it again i don't think so i think we will go up so we will see anyway next one is the nzd and yeah look 
we had already 21k once now we reached 22 and the profit taking started to be in the play again look what's happening with the shots from the 11k to the 14k mm, okay but uh, start to looks like we are reaching some quite interesting uh, uh, levels right this was on the first so okay let's go to charts now and uh, what i am always doing is this so basically here i'm you know might be asking why i'm doing every week forex weekly forex market pretty different because i want to explain you uh, how my thinking and my processes works right so first of all i'm doing the cot then what i do next is i actually go in here and uh, for example in here if you click these charts right it will opens you pop-up window if you will have a small screen or on the phone it will not work for you you need a proper screen right so what this charts will open for you is basically this and this is my visualization where I have all the levels, right? So by the quick look uh, and going through the charts, I'm seeing the weekly, daily, monthly, four hours levels. And based on that, I can basically simply easily pick up the trades uh, which I want to do, right? So here is, for example, the Aussie. And I'm seeing we reach this uh, weekly level, right? Here is this monthly liquidity zone. And here we actually took out the stop losses on the daily reach this level and uh, expecting the price to move higher right now above these stop loss zones right because here the traders entered the short those who entered this break and uh, and so on and so on <laughs> basically uh, all the pairs easily easily bigger picture view and uh, you know exactly what you need to do so that's what i'm always doing right and then i have it here uh, redraw it <coughs> in my charts so this is a euro as said we are in the profit taking phase and i think in here uh, it's a range which is defined and i think that if they want to take out and close some profits look what they left here look at these two equal highs right these probably will be taken out so uh, actually my uh, long positions was not filled like by the pa five pips so if the price still come lower i could be looking for the long right but it depends how it happened if the price comes first here then i think uh, i will skip the long but if the price uh, start drop like this and go up i will be looking for the long to this liquidity zone if the price first reach this liquidity zone without making a correction into my level I would be looking for the shorts from here okay so the next one is a euro kiwi euro kiwi as set look on the weekly monthly and on the daily uh, how perfect is this look what has been here look many people many people was having this retail i'm sure that the many retail traders had this as a you know some support so they probably started to buy in here so look at this nice dip and now the price i think could go higher at least into this level so for the kiwi euro kiwi if the price retrace and move higher i would be looking for the long on the Aussie Kiwi, very beautiful. We are in the weekly level, monthly liquidity zone. And on the daily, we had this dip. And now we can look for the long. I'm actually already in the long from from this, from this here. I have a, I have actually entry from here. And uh, we added another one in here. So if the price retrace, I will be adding even more longs, right? next one is usd cat beautiful this one is beautiful so even though we don't see it already in the cot properly look what they did again look they maintaining uh, this illusion of the support in here then they dip into it below all these lows 
and uh, look at the reaction how the price react right so we had actually the nice trade uh, in my signal service on this one I'm still uh, expecting a smaller correction and then I will be taking the, another long trade right I think we could be targeting for these highs on the daily very possibly very possibly next one is NZDJPY this one is beautiful again look how they did it again boom 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 right so we have this equal highs right here a lot of stop losses and they just dip into it you know here as well on the daily you can see it even more clearly this is you know and uh, here I want to show you my uh, actually other tool which I already uh, which I actually already uh, um show it to you but look at this how this helps me to think what the what the other traders are doing right of course i'm always talking you know the retail traders i am of course retail trader as well i don't want to say that i'm something more you know or whatever and i'm of course not smarter than others but look i know what others are doing so what probably the traders has been doing because they knew they knew that here is you know some so-called support right so they saw okay three times it bounced so it has to be strong now the price it retraced here look it start to break here they break this trend line retrace and here many traders went short how i know it first of all I'm trying to think uh, what they probably doing and what I would probably do if I'm doing the, you know, the classic uh, price action. Because on the classic price action, this looks nice, right? You, what you can see here is basically, uh, look at it uh, on this way. So we are seeing the level, right? Then we are seeing some uh, potential, something like... Uh, you know this formation um could be this you know head and shoulders so they could be you know thinking the break of here or whatever but it's not important at all not any formations not all these things only the levels and uh, and on the order flow and the position so let's go here and let's bring the nzd jpy we already agreed that on the nzd we have reached again we have reached again this 21k right that's uh, when the banks start to take a profit on this one if you don't know this uh, watch the video uh from this wednesday right so now they have something around the 19k it's for them when they taking the profit so we are seeing it was 21st July, 1st September, and now 20th October, right? So let's look at it. Where is the 21st? Here, 21st July, you see on the date, 21st July, 1st September, right? Taking the profit, and now we are here again. So exactly, look at these dates. It's, it's in here, here, and here they, they start, they will take the profit again. You know, so it's cool how we know that. Now, look at this. This is the NZD JPY. And uh, here is actually when the short started to grow. 29th November, right? It was 49, 54, 55, 60, do, 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 90%. And then it dropped last two days. So let's analyze this and uh, then we will continue normally right but i want to show you this is uh, in every weekly forex forecast i want to uh, to realize something uh, in here so we are seeing since here the long started to growth and it's on the 29th november right now i'm going here and i will find this 29 november okay so when was it in here 29 November here so basically in this candle the retail traders started to short and that's why I said that they've been shorting this break right because we here is a 28 and here is a 29 so here the short started to growth right 
and then it was growing, 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 and then last two days, this is these two candles, what happened, look, last two days, these shorts dropped from the 90 to 79.69, so why this happened? Why when this was here 90 and here is just 79 and here is 66? Okay, let's go here. And uh, just, uh, so we said that uh, they, they start, they shorted break of this trend line. They enter, they started to shorting here. Then the price was going up, they was still shorting. And these last two days, there is the shorts dropped by the 30%. Why? Because here was this stop losses, right? They've been hit. That's why we that's why we can see the report uh, of the less shorts in here, right? Actually now the longs volume starting to grow. Look, 30 here we have even the lot sizes. This is the cool tool the long starting to grow, right? We are seeing it. So why the longs are now growing? Why? Because the retail traders expecting price drop down here and then continue up. But it's probably not gonna happen because now they took, <laughs> because we know what the COT is, what the banks are doing based on the COT. So, Kiwi and I have already short and I'm expecting just some smaller retracement. This level is actually out. I have to update it. And uh, what could happen in here is something like, so if the price, yeah, this would be perfect short. So I would be looking for the short in here. And it can be much bigger than this one, for sure. Um, right so i'm looking for short in here and a similar case is actually happening uh, on the pound yen right look we have reached the weekly level we have reached the daily level above the stop losses right uh, here on the four hours right so what probably could be nice this and drop we all saw that uh, on the order flow, the pound is weak, yen is strong. Here you can just go, do it by yourself, my friends, and you can see what's happening in here. Look, GBP, JPY, look, we can see 75% long shorts and then it dropped. Look how it dropped and how the longs are growing for the last two days, right? Again, last two days, boom, they hit the stop losses and now the longs are growing while the longs are growing the price uh, moving up so it will not go up anymore it will go up a little bit right but we have as well if you have this my uh, my tool you can download it uh, for the mt4 it's actually it's actually in here you just download this mt4 pack and uh, you what you have there is actually this thing which showing you uh, where is the retail positions right so if you will see, you will see some two lines and where you will see their their average long positions you can put your stop loss above it and sh you can short and put your stop loss above it because it will not probably go above that it will not give them the chance right now to get out okay so this is the pound the next one is the Aussie a very similar case right so hitting the weekly, uh, hitting the monthly in here, hitting the daily again, right? Uh, here on the four hours, there's actually still a bit of room, uh, you know, to go uh, a bit higher. It might could happen, you know, because on the Aussie, it's a different. On the Aussie, I will show you when I will be on the Aussie, there still could, ho could go a bit higher, right? So this one, I'm a bit cautious of waiting. This is Euro JPY. What I'm waiting for in here is that the price uh, could hit these stop losses in here, right? Stop losses and then down, right? Similar, similar thing, you know, and then down. This is a Kiwi, right? So look, this perfection, 
uh, how we had uh, the stop loss zone in here just reached above and price could start to drop down right again you can just uh, watch it in here you can see the profit taking right profit taking profit taking and uh, let's look actually what happening with the retail positions we can check it maybe maybe it's not working but what i'm thinking is that there would be probably some stop losses hit right so we can see it again so here was the short thing started to grow grow 85 boom and then it dropped 13 percent down oh, look how many lots they over the thousand lots they dropped down and the over the over the uh, thousand lots went to the long so in the last day right so cool yeah it's very cool that we have actually this information right um this what you have here on the website it's actually even better than the one in the platform i have to say because it's more accurate in the platform what i have in my application it's updated every 15 minutes and it's you know too much information you can just check it daily and it's enough right so we have seen that definitely the stop loss is what hit as well in here which is perfect and this is the aussie right so on the aussie as said that it's a quite different situation is because i'm thinking that maybe the liquidity still is above here right why liquidity look at this look at this so might still we could see the move higher but let's try to actually find out what's going on on the aussie maybe there still would be this position maybe still let's see how much shorts is here right so i'm under the 78 so it's not so clear on this one it still could go a bit higher right so uh 75 when was the last time 73 71 70, 70, 70 80 we will see you know there's one level second level so probably it could go but what i like is always too short you know from some top so i would definitely wait here on the daily this nice level if it reach just this level and it might could be if there will be you know some news if there will be some news uh, on the aussie uh so as it's mostly in the in the asian session they will just you know hit it and down so we will see my friends this is it this is actually everything i wish you good luck for the next week don't forget really go to this because uh this what i provide is all what you need as well this will be in the mt4 platform which would be the best tool on the world i can guarantee you that this is really the best this there's nothing there's nothing so good like this you know i mean you have the levels you have what the banks are doing you have what the retail is doing all is actually in the confluence you only need to do your practice and you then you don't even need to watch my videos you will be independent trader while you using this really <laughs> okay bye bye my friends